So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to take a graph you've previously made in Microsoft Excel and integrate it into your Word document. So here you can see I've got this temperature graph that I've made and let's say that I want to integrate this as one of my figures in my scientific paper. All I'm going to do is I'm going to click around the border of the entire graph here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose to copy it. And I'm going to come back over to my paper here in Microsoft Word and let's say that I want to integrate it here into this line. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose to paste. Okay, so I've now pasted it. Now, a couple of things. Once I've pasted this inside of my Word document, I get the option whenever I click on the border here for Chart Tools, Design, Layout, Format. If I click Format, that will allow me to position this in terms of where it should go on the page. And then in terms of position, I can choose where I want it placed. So let's say I want it placed in the center. Okay, or in line with text. There we go. I personally prefer to put it in front of the text or actually through the text or in front of the text. By doing it in front of the text it makes it to where this is a floating object and I can just drag it and drop it wherever I want it to go in the paper. This makes it a lot easier to work with in the context of if I decide to move my chart rather than it making the text format around the sides of it, it simply lays over the text. So then to get the text around it, I just have to hit return until the text goes beyond the chart. This makes it a lot easier to put this graph inside of my paper. And then as I've done previously, uh, in a previous particular uh, tutorial, I can show you again, you can integrate a text box to go underneath this. Okay, so insert I can choose text box, simple text box, and this will be figure one, determining the optimal temperature of lactase. Okay. I drag it around like that. I bold the text box again and I don't want that border on the text box so I simply come up here under drawing tools for format and I choose shape outline and I choose the white option. Okay, I can go ahead and move my text box down a little bit. There we go. And again I now have a chart or table or graph that is free floating in my document and I have its accompanying figure legend. So that's all you need to do.